Welcome to Skyler's Golf Vlog for Santa Teresa Junior Golf Club's March 2024 Spring Sprint Tournament. Here we have hole one, which is about 120 yards uphill. This is about Skyler's max driving distance, and she just hit a wonderful tee shot to the front of the green. Skyler hit an amazing putt from about 50, 60 feet to tap in range. First hole is always a good score to have. Now we have the second hole that Skylar is using for hybrid. She's aiming a little bit right to avoid the deep slope on the left. Maybe a little too right, but still okay. Here I feel like Skylar slightly rushed herself. It was a tough lie, and I felt like she could have made a few more practice swings to get a better sense of how much the grass will grab her club. But nonetheless, it's always a good learning opportunity. A bogey on the second hole, bringing the total score to plus one. Another challenging tee shot. There's water on the left, massive tree blocking on the right. So you really have to step up and hit an accurate tee shot. Skylar has her six iron out now. And the strategy is sit, sit. better long than short, so we at least carry the water. Skylar fired a great shot right at the pin. The ball just kept rolling and rolling to the back fringe. Fortunately, this is a back bend, so it turned out pretty nice. It's about 10 feet left for birdie, and the ball just grazed the hole. Skylar remains at plus one through three. This fourth hole also demands an accurate tee shot. It's 124 yards downhill and is narrower than it looks because there's a tree on the left that surprisingly catches a lot of balls. Skylar hit a great drive and the ball rolled about 15 feet past the hole. I thought this would be a delicate downhill putt. Skylar hit it. I thought she hit too hard, but it turns out to be just right. So it just shows that sometimes it's better to keep our mouth shut and let the kids do their thing. Skylar is back to even after four, and she hit her drive about 20 yards short of the hole. As a chip back up the hole, she executed that chip perfectly. The ball stopped right under the hole. And she has a great look, about 4 feet to save her bar. That was a great save, and it just feels like Skylar's in her zone right now. Hole 6, it's a relatively shorter hole. Skylar has her 6 iron now, about 70-ish yards from the hole. Pretty straightforward, just have to hit a great shot. Skyler Hall was very well aimed and just rolled slightly past the hole. This is another downhill putt similar to the one birdie putt she made earlier. I thought she put a good stroke on this. I guess it just wasn't as downhill as it seemed. And now she has four feet left to save her ball. And unfortunately just missed. I think that's okay. Can't really expect to make all these four footers. 
think the important thing here is to not let it affect your next shot. Skylar, I thought hit this drive perfectly, but she was a little unsatisfied. Uh, on her best day, she could drive the green. I still think this is a great landing spot to the right and slightly in front of the green. It has a good look uh, for a up and down here. Just almost nailed the flag. About four to five feet left for part to remain at plus one after seven. Good pod. The eight hole is another simpler hole, about 84 yards. Uh, pretty straightforward. There's only a bunker on the left protecting the green. Skylar hit a great six iron. Is it? Landed right at the flag, but rolled to the back. Another downhill putt, about 25 feet. And again, I thought she put a good stroke on it. I guess the green is slightly slow because it's just been punched. And just missed short on this as well. At plus two after eight holes. Right hole is another tricky hole. There's water on the right and a bunker on the left. Skylar needed her full driver just to reach the green. A few moments later, I missed the second shot. She made a great lag putt from the back of the green to slightly under the hole. And this is for par and a 29 total for this tournament, placing her tied for second for her flight. It was a great round and a very fun experience. And thanks to Santa Teresa Golf Course for hosting this tournament and all her golf buddies for making this so much fun for Skylar.